Okay, so I'm Kami G, and I wanted to show off my current soldier build just because I haven't made a video on it yet since I did all of my hero builds uh, way back when. Uh, I've currently got um, a different build to what I was using before, and I wanted to show you guys so that you can, you know, see what I've been using and maybe use it yourself. So the main hero I have is Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. The reason for this is because it's just a massive increase. You get a 225% increase to critical damage on your rifles. And since pretty much every single schematic I have is crit build, um, just because crit builds are better, uh, this makes sense as the main hero. Uh, I think I'm going to do a, a comparison between these two being um, the main hero, like, you know, one killing smashes and then another maybe actually working out the damage. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using so far. I'll do the team perk, yeah, I'll just going to do the team perk now, so the team perk I have, I, I couldn't really find a good one to be honest, currently I have that the frag grenade leaves the energized field on the floor, um, so it increases the radius with each hero, uh, with each soldier you have, sorry, so I have five soldiers, so the radius is pretty massive, um, I basically just use it as like um, a slow damaging thing on the ground it's good for encampments really you just lob three on the floor and then stand in the middle of it they all come towards you take damage that sort of thing it's not too bad first support is assault damage so this increases assault damage by 17 percent and if you put this at the top it would be 40 percent but i think the crit damage being higher is more important than the base damage being higher um but again i'm i'm probably going to test this anyway then I have Survivalist. I think this is pretty important just because, especially in high twine, you know, you're going to be losing a lot of health. It saves having to put a campfire down or something, you know, you're just continuously getting your health back. It doesn't increase, you know, your damage output, but I couldn't really find too many more damage output heroes that were good. So I use Survivalist. Then I have startup, so every shot increases ranged weapon damage by 1% up to a maximum of 25 stacks. Switching weapons or reloading removes the buff. So if you made this your, uh, you know, your um, base player, uh, it increases the weapon damage by 2% instead, but it also increases fire rate by 1.2. Now I don't want the fire rate increased because that's just gonna make my accuracy go down crazy. And going up to 2% instead of 1% isn't a massive increase, so that's why I didn't use him as my main hero. But it's really good because most of the weapons I have have more than 25 bullets. So, you know, <laughs> um, when reload moves the buff, you know, I've already got to the maximum buff, so that's really good. Uh, and then Mad Tidings is pretty similar to this, so firing a ranged weapon grants one stack of Holiday Spirit, up to 50 stacks this time, not 25. Each stack increases weapon damage by 1% but decreases weapon stability by 0.2% uh, buff removed on uh, weapon swap or reload similar to the other one so this one is pretty much the same except it goes up to 50 stacks uh, but it also decreases the weapon stability so your weapon's gonna you know move about a bit more but that's quite easy to control so you know it's a really good hero to use uh, and then finally I have quick scope for increasing sniper rifle damage. This is where I'd love to swap out and use something else. I don't really use snipers that much anymore. Um, I don't... I, I can't find any other, any other good soldiers to use. Other than like... I could swap out survivalist and quick scope for two prehistoric soldiers. And you know use the prehistoric build. But then I don't have survivalist and if all my... You know, if all my health is just health, I'm going to need to regain health back. So, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, if you guys have any good suggestions for a fifth hero here, you know, if, if there's a soldier that you use that you haven't heard yet um, from this build, let me know. But this is the build I've got so far. You know, it's good because if you do have an obliterator or a super shredder, um, the last perk is great for that. But at the moment, I need to swap it out, really. Uh, I just don't have anyone that's good for a soldier build like it's all all the rest of them i have is like for swords and teddies and stuff so but yeah that's the build i've been using uh, it's really powerful it's oh it's so powerful you can tell the difference if you go into a 140 mission with this compared to like a teddy build or a, a ninja build you can tell 
the difference of your weapons so much. You know, your, your SMGs and assault rifles, it's an insane difference. Um, I guess I could show some gameplay of it, um, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to, just because if I was to show gameplay, I'd have to show gameplay like without using this build and then with to compare. And I don't want the video to go on for too long because it's just it's just a video there to show you um, what you know that what the build is. Um, so yeah, if, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, and hopefully you did find it useful. But I will see you in the next one.